Welcome back everybody here on Just a Sec. What's my continued mission to show you an interesting video game almost every single day. This time with Trash of the Titans, a fantasy roguelite tactics RPG where, well, the developer reached out to me, said here's a demo, and he mentioned something that at least caught my eye, that we need to play a Tetris minigame for upgrades. So that sounds very interesting. Also beautiful pixel art. And I don't know why I just clicked a few things. Sorry, back in the game. And yeah, this game is supposed to come out in 2024. We're going to have a look at the official demo. As always, if you want to check it out for yourself, link is down in the description. Options menu, not much, frankly. Music, sound effects, resolution. Is, I mean, it's not even a resolution if you just can turn off full screen. Oh, maybe it's kind of full screen is the same here. 960 by 450 and... 1440 by 810 interesting resolutions huh well it would be nice if that would be more later on but again early demo fair enough let's hit new game and see what this game has so far there wow apparently a bunch of difficulty modes i don't know why i'm so hectic because look at this music here and the picture and this giant head this is beautiful this is relaxed i had a quick look at the trailer of the game that was just super pumped and the trailer gave me a completely other, I don't know, feeling. I guess that's why I'm so, so hyped. Also, maybe I drank too much coffee. Okay, beginner experience expert or muscle chest? Well, I kind of am. Anyway, let's go maybe with experience. Seems to be like the normal difficulty, uh, usually in games. So let's start in Act 1, this city. All right, roguelike elements. We have like a map to progress through. Fair enough. Let's see what awaits us. This is honestly beautiful. Yeah, I like this presentation, how the map comes. This is already, yes, it's super cool. Okay, what's this? Bunch of rats. Okay, boys, you know the drill. The, they are dumpster stuffed with trash, and every loser on the block is gonna be trying to get at it. So get in there and grab as much as you can. The rat crew is gonna feast tonight. All right, we're not even saying anything. We're just out there to get them trash can. Defend this. If the rats steal the trash, that's bad. Okay. Defend this. If the rats steal the trash, that's bad. There's a little bit of like, I don't know, what is... There's a little bit of like, you know, formation with the text going on. It's It looks a little bit disaligned, but hey, it's fine. Okay, move, attack, use ability, and turn. What kind of abilities does the badger have? Charge. Charges in a straight line at the target. Enemy deals 5 plus badger's attack damage. Cost 1 action, 4 MP. Okay, action's 1 out of 1. So I guess move... Oh! Oh, you can turn the camera with... Not Q, with A and D. Cool. Let's go with this, maybe? Okay, attack. Movement is not an action, it seems. So we're gonna move over here. There we go. What is this? Rage. Passive effect. Betcha gets bonus attack damage equal to 33% of her missing health. Okay, passive effects are always active and do not cost anything. Okay, equal to 33% of her missing health. Well, currently she's at full life, but still fine. I want to use an ability charge. Could also... Oh, rage again. Passive. Okay, can we rage into this enemy? Let's go. Oh, 12 damage. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna end her turn. And now it's the raccoon's turn. What kind of ability? Vanish. Oh, uh. Okay, Barbarian already into combat. Now we have the Rogue. Raccoon becomes invisible and can walk through enemies for two turns. Or until he attacks, triggering Backstep. Aha, Backstep. Passive effect. Raccoon's attack deals double damage from behind or while invisible. Interesting. Let's move first. Ooh, there. Okay, we can do this. We could attack. Or we use the ability to vanish, cost MP. It's not an action. So actually, let's do this and let's now deal double damage 8 to 10. It's not necessarily enough, but let's get the back step. 17 damage, so close. Okay, it was 8 to 10 is the normal. And thanks to our back step, we deal, dealt 16 to 20. Okay, so we had a chance to actually instantly defeat this enemy. Let's use a bit. Of, oh, I can still activate Vanish. Yeah, let's do this for, for more MP. It's not turn based so it's, or action based. So we don't want the raccoon to be attacked, of course. Rather, the badger. And your turn. Oh, reinforcements. That's fine. Ricochet. Oh, and there we go with the ranger or archer. It shoots an arrow which will bounce to a nearby enemy, dealing possums attack damage to each. One action, six MP. Also, gravity. Passive effect. Possum gets extra range and damage when attacking from above. Oh, so we want you to be here most, hopefully. 
Let's try this out. I'm gonna move you here. But what kind of ability? Ricochet. So we want to do this because we want to make sure it hits both of those and hopefully gets both, right? What does it do again? It shoots an arrow which deals bones to a nearby enemy, dealing possums attack damage to each. Six to eight to each. How much HP does this one have? This one has one. 18. Do they both have one? But the... No, six. Huh. Sure, hover over slightly broken, but hey, for demo, that's fine. Okay, so we should actually get both. Let's try this out. If we hit both. Boom, boom. Yes. 8, 7. Oh, two enemies down. Good job. Gonna end your turn. And the skunk. Toxic gas. Creates a permanent cloud of toxic gas which deals damage over time. So we have kind of our druid here, maybe. Damage 4 per turn. 1 action, 10 AP. And you don't have a single passive ability. Interesting. Toxic gas. Okay, we need to get closer. I guess I'm gonna move you here then. You guys are blocking the path. Oh, oh, there we go. Usability. Do I want to do this here in that line? I guess that's kind of the best I can hope. I mean, they need to walk through, right? Maybe? Which deals damage over time. Four per turn. I don't know. Let's end the turn and see what happens with the rats. Trying to get some trash. Not cool. That's mine. We're walking in. Okay. So, when they enter it or start their turn, it seems. Oh, so, we dealt some damage. That's fine. Usability charge. In straight line of target, 5 extra damage. What's the base damage right now? I would like to cancel. So right now we're dealing 9 to 11 damage. That would be 16 to... Oh wait, 14 to... 17, right? With the dash. But we have a chance if we just attack this one. Maybe let's conserve some energy. 11 damage. There we go. Good job. This one is done. Gonna... I could still move you. I think I want to get you closer, so yes, I'm going to move you here at the turn. Now we have the rat. Oh, what's going to come up next? More reinforcements? 18. We have a chance to defeat that enemy, but maybe it's better if I move here and use attack. We are invisible, so it's going to be a backstab. There we go. 17. Beautiful. Do I want to go in a backstab again? No, we don't have the MP for that. We could move, though. I'm not sure if I want that right now. Let's end the turn. Oh, from that! From behind! Oh, that's not cool. Didn't expect that, frankly. Ooh. 18. They're getting away attack. So once they get trash, they want to get it. Can't even reach that. So I guess let's just go with Ricochet at the first form here. That's kind of the best right now. And your turn. Do we know how much they can move? We know. They won't get our ranger, which is a good thing. At best, they can get here and attack there. So you, we want you to activate toxic gas here. There we go. Eight damage instantly. And I want you to move. I mean, that makes them move over there, but they might attack the skunk. That would be... Does she take damage from her own toxic gas? deals damage over time. I would say no. That, that would make the most sense. But mechanically, there's no passive effect or anything else. Like, this doesn't say it deals damage to enemies only, so I would assume it deals damage to friends and enemies. And she doesn't have, like, a passive that says, okay, doesn't take damage from her own uh, abilities or something like that. What I would, would, would I think would have made sense, but... Maybe that's not the way. Oh, what am I gonna do with you? I'm probably overthinking this already. I'm gonna move you here. Uh, don't want her to be attacked, frankly. Rather these two, I'm not sure if they can... So how can these guys move? More, worst case is, these two both attack her. Which would actually be bad. But I wanna find that out, so whatever. I'm gonna move you over here. The first combat. It's already running away. Okay, it takes four additional damage. Five. Yep, they attack this. Oh, they can't attack diagonally. Okay, that's not as bad as it could have been, which I enjoy a lot. So we need to get this red. Can I skip a turn and turn no? Can I choose you? Because you guys are in the same position, right? Ah, man, I want to attack this guy from behind with our raccoon backstab. That doesn't work. So we're gonna take the four damage from the toxic gas, which is terrible, and probably four more damage after this. I'm gonna move you out now. Okay, so it's only four times once, but we really don't want to lose this trash, I think. So here, backstab. That should work. There we go. 
of damage. I guess we're gonna leave the trash there. We don't have any other exclamation marks, so we should be safe on that front. I'm gonna move you down here. And we have you. Oh no, ricochet anymore. That's not nice. Okay, we can attack six to eight damage. Let's get rid of this enemy then. There we go. At least we have done this. You also know ability four to six. You can defeat this one at the very least, which is nice. Okay, what's this one movement? If I move you here, can you reach me? Yes. So I'd rather have you just here in the way. Block the trash, let it attack. Okay, the rogue, that's fine. There we go. And you attack from here. Now we got this at your turn. You just don't even need the backstab. Let's do a front stab this time. Good job, guys. We did it. There we go. Got all the trash. Victory! Like this. Four trash. Is this our number? I guess five, if not even a single trash would have been taken. Ooh, a relic in the trash grants an ability. What will you choose? Poison shot. Passive effect poisons attack applies three poison counters. Ooh, passive effects are always active and do not cost anything. Poison. A unit takes one damage at the start of its turn for each poison counter on it. One counter is removed each turn. That is super good, especially considering with the ricochet shot, right? Leap Strike. Lead, leaps up to three squares away and deals badger attack damage to enemies within two squares of the impact sites. Gains extra range and area when leaping from greater heights. Frankly, this is super good as well. Oh. But let's go with the Poison Shot. Sounds kind of cooler. And there we go. Eat your trash to grow big and strong. There we go with the Tetris. Save for later. Controls. AD. Rotate meal. Save meal for later. Never. You, you, you saved meal. W. Click eat meal. Current meal. Apple core of power. Grants one power per square eaten. Four power grants his character one attack damage. I don't get that. Okay. Eat your okay, now we could do this with a block. Grants one power per square eaten. Four power grants a character one attack. So these are four squares. So this should grant a character one attack? Question mark? I don't know, you, you? Who benefits the most from attack? I mean, the possum with the ricochet pretty cool. Our rogue, super cool. Let's give it to the rogue. Okay, yeah, there we go. This increased, which I guess is the damage. Current meal, jelly of mobility. Grants one mobility per squares eaten. Four mobility grants a character movement range. Well, this kind of has the same color, yeah? I mean, more movement on the rogue, probably not too bad either. I mean, you want to get into position easier. You want to get to high ground, so mobility would be nice for you as well. You already have one extra mobility, movement four, three, three. You want to get into combat as at, at the front as easy as possible. You probably want to get out. But you have the charge ability. So either you to get into position with... Yeah, it's actually a ranger. <laughs> I actually called it a ranger just like this. It actually has there. Exclamation mark. Possum ranger. Rogue. Warrior, not barbarian. Yeah, okay. And the wizard is the skunk. Okay, fair enough. Man. <laughs> there actually is classes. Look at that. I'm amazing. <laughs> Two out of four. Immediately right. Without even knowing about this. Okay, warrior. Oh, I don't know. It's one of those two, I think. You for positioning, you for backstepping. Ah, backstepping, come on. Let's make one strong character, maybe. Sandwich of Wisdom. Grants one Wisdom per square eaten. One Wisdom grants a character one MP and four Wisdom grants one MP per turn. That's pretty good. You for the ricochet. You for your toxic thing. MP region three per turn. That would be four. Didn't her ability take four? Cost four or so? So you get one, you don't have anything. Would actually be interesting on him as well for this backstep, which also costs like four. Hmm. So it's either you or an invisibility, of course. And so it's ah, possum or you. Okay, just to switch it up, let's give it to the possum. There we go. And potato crisp of vitality. Grants one vitality per square eaten. One vitality grants a character to HP. So I can no, I don't want to save for later. Okay, I can still make it go back. But there's no way to really change it. Guess if you get other things, that would actually be good. I'm wasting one slot. 
and it's definitely the warrior who needs the most HP. I'm gonna save it for later. Maybe, you know, after the next combo we get some super good stuff and don't waste this one slot. I don't know. Let's go with the mechanics. Continue. There we go. We have This is how much more trash you can afford to lose to the rats. Okay, we're like, is that our mission? There's an elite encounter here and the boss encounter there. Is that our mission? Trying to get the trash to safety for, I don't know, for the poor? I imagine we're... Uh, Helping, you know, an urchin home, an urchin house. There's a lot of urchins, and we are here going out in the wilderness, fighting the rats to get some trash to this poor urchin at, well, our home. Okay, well, comment turn. Let's hope I can win this. I won the encounter. Now we have the freeze ability as one choice. Freezes the target unit, deals five damage, and applies three frozen counters. Range 4. A unit cannot do anything while it has frozen counters on it. And it blocks the square it is in. One counter is removed each turn. Which would be super strong against like boss type enemies or very strong enemies. This one also is intimidating. Better takes half as much damage from attackers she is facing. Oh, I think this is maybe more important. Because Badger is always at the front and takes so much damage from the enemies. Which I kind of learned in this combat even though she didn't lose. So let's try this. Also, passives are always easier to deal with. Oh, okay, this is how it works. The amount of trash equals the blocks we receive. That is super cool. Okay, Sandwich of Wisdom grants one Wisdom per square eaten. One Wisdom grants a character one MP and four Wisdom grants four MP per turn. We want that. Again, could be interesting on the Raccoon, because right now he doesn't have any MP region and the Vanish ability is super strong. But there's not that much space for the trash, right? So maybe on her, on our skunk, cause her abilities are also super awesome, but 3 MP per turn might not be enough, frankly. So let's try this. The question is... I guess I can only try to do it like this. Let's go. Grants vita Ooh, there we go. One vitality per square eaten. One vitality grants a character to HP. The slot isn't that much. Nah. Definitely want it though. There we go. There's this wisdom thing again. At least we can do it like this. So she gets so much. Five per turn, which is amazing. Also, yeah, maximum MP as well. So she can cast a toxic cloud all over. And these toxic clouds are completely permanent, which is awesome. Grants one's power per square eaten. Probably uh, this time on the batch. Oh, it doesn't work like that. Oh, we can also combine it, of course. I only noticed now, like this, for example. So give both of them two. Huh. I find this very interesting. So it's not active this turn, but both of them have two, and they both benefit from the power, frankly. And I don't want to waste any space. Look at, um, really need like, like things like this. Okay, let's give it a try. So they get a little bit of power, eleven to thirty. Maybe I still it still increased its their damage a little bit. I don't know. Jelly of Mobility grants one mobility per square. Eaten from mobility grants a character in movement range. Oh, why is it this again? I don't know how to handle with this. Ugh. I'm not good with decisions. Maybe like this. You get three. The other one gets one at least. I'm so bad at Tetris. If you couldn't tell. Oh, you. I mean the skunk with the mobility. Not too shabby. These two can... I don't know. Let's just go with this. And if I would try this... You saved meal. Oh, wait. Oh, it is like the original Tetris, so I need to have a block here, and then the bottom row disappears. Okay, I just really gotta make sure that this works. Really have to. Okay, you saved meal, W. And turn it around, so... If I do it like this... Do the bottom ones disappear? I'm not sure if that is a good thing, though. Or do I just lose? Honestly, I don't want to know. I'm gonna... Mm. I'm gonna keep it for now. Huh. Interesting. I don't know the rules of Tetris that good. Of course, everyone played Tetris, but I, but ne I was never good at the game. I like the idea. I like the charm. I really need a square one. And then we're gonna find out. Okay. Let's go. With our upgraded team, next combat. What can we do? I'm ready. Okay, she has 5 MP regeneration per turn. There we go. This is the map layout. We're on top of that, so we have height advantage, which is a good thing. Okay, they're coming from both sides, though, which is not good at all. We really gotta win this. And as always, Badger starts. 
how did they move? They can't really reach. Can they get up there? What if we turn the camera? Oh, they could come up from here though. So they can reach both sides. I guess they would want to try to go over here. You, I want to shoot. You, Toxic Wave, so I think I want you. Oh, now the jump ability would have been amazing. I'm gonna move you over here. You're gonna block these guys' path. And your turn. You move. Oh, you have so much movement. First off, vanish. I think I want you to hold that off here. Just into position. End your turn. You have great all the ricochet. Let's go. Fire. Nice, some good damage, plus a bunch of poison. These guys are only melee, so... I'm gonna end your turn, and you have toxic gas, which are... You're gonna spread your beautiful gas all over everything. Toxic gas. Can I hit all of three? Yes, let's just go. When new enemies spawn in here as well, they're just gonna be on all the skunk stench. There we go, four damage plus poison. Four damage, toxic, there we go, plus poison. Okay, they're not done yet, but they took a lot of damage. Which is good. Oh, you're moving there. Didn't expect that, honestly. It's fine. You're gonna block this one as kind of planned. I could go with a dash, but it's fine. Just hit it for eight. Not that much. But you're just mostly there to hold them off. You're gonna backstab. I mean, we're even at the back and we're vanished, but there oh, are 26 damage. This is so beautiful. And you can move a bit more. So I'm gonna move you over here. Vanish again. Not sure which direction we're gonna go to next turn. You have this. So this one has poison two. Take two damage on start turn. This is not enough. This one is annoying. You have also two. If we do toxic waste, these two are immediately gone. So I actually think the best is to just normally attack this one. Wait, which have we selected? The possum. Okay, there we go. Normal attack here. So nine damage plus poison three. So you're gonna be down when you start your turn at three, which is totally fine. End your turn for now. And you just toxic gas here. Totally fine. Get all three of them. So um, th these two die immediately and this one is gonna take <laughs> seven damage when its turn starts. And it only has two HP. That's amazing. Okay, this bothers me a little bit, but it's not gonna be there yet. Okay, there's exclamation mark coming up. So we only need to defeat, uh, defeat these two, which is totally fine, I think. 15. I could go with charge for five extra damage for MP. I think I'm gonna do it. I want to deal that much damage. 14 is not enough yet. It's still fine. You have so much more movement and you are vanished. So what I want to find out, because I think that's how it works as well. If we managed to... Either at one point no reinforcements happens, or if we defeat the enemies in time before reinforcements happens, we also win immediately. I think that's how it works. So if you just shoot this guy, and him, we win the encounter. Yes. Okay, we have an incentive to also try to... End it quickly, if we can. Nice. Five trash. Let's go apply some Tetris. Relic in the trash. Warp. Teleports any unit within range from one location to another. That could be used offensively and defensively. I like this. For friends or foes. Bounty. Passive effect. Raccoon regains an action if it hits uh, his attacks. Kill an enemy. Oh, that's so good. Definitely that. Action economy always important. Yes! This is what we want. Grant one wisdom per square eaten. Yes, this is so good. One wisdom grants a character. Okay, this is... Still on the possum, and his ricochet ability is pretty great. So let's go with this. Yes, and this also gets rid of the bottom row, right? You get the ability. And you guys also somehow gain stats. I guess like a half point. If not, if you just played this, they just disappear. This is how it works. Right, okay, what do I do? Oh, this, this double three row, which I can't get. We need one of these square ones. Ah, oh, man. Okay, vitality. Guess like this on these guys, not necessarily a bad thing. I want, I want just, you know, that would be, oh, that would be three rows, guys. That would be amazing. <sighs> Let's go. You guys can definitely benefit from this. Okay, we have two, four. This is kind of terrible. Would it make that road disappear then? I, again, I, I'm not that familiar with the Tetris. I mean, this bro from left to right kind of seems to indicate to me that it would make it disappear completely. But then I could place a straight line in the next upcoming turns, which I need so badly as well. Ah, oh, why is Tetris such an evil game? 
Can I just switch it out and take this one instead first? Of course I can. What if I say save for later? I switched them out. Okay. This is for power. Yeah, okay. But you can't completely optimize it, I guess. It's fine. What's gonna be agility and life on the skunk? I'd rather have it here, but I also want you to have power, rather. I really want to have a square thing, because I think then it adds these... Quince 1, power, per squeeze. So, as long as I understand this, once we place it, these, you know, points get attributed to the characters. And if we manage to finish a row completely as well. So we can double the input, so to speak. Kind of losing on on this, but it seems like this is the best. What is better, this or that? Probably this, I have no idea. So you get that, one extra power. 8 to 10 damage, that's totally fine. Mobility. I guess so. Per square eaten, I mean on the skunk. And vitality. Could do it here as well, but no. Buffing our skunk here, guys. <laughs> I mean, not too shabby either. If we really need... If that doesn't happen, if... Maybe if we get like this, I could kind of place it here to give you vitality. You don't need it though, Ranger. I would really need a square line at, in the first two and the upcoming round. That would be amazing. Well, let's hope that happens. One more combat and then trash and then elite encounter. Let's go. Oh, this is it. The current meal. We have this wisdom thing. Can I turn this around? No, it's exactly the wrong thing. Can I switch it out? This one, I can. So we can do this, you get more power, which is good, and it's the next thing that we need. Ah, uh, no. This could have been so much better. So I'm gonna lose one row. I guess this is still the best. Okay, you guys gained some points, and I'm gonna use this, and we can at least finish three rows, which is hopefully a super good thing. Next to this, you get more mobility better, not too bad, and... Oh, and now so much more mobility, it's gonna get to our other guys. The raccoon has fainted after reaching zero pitch, uh, HP. They will enter the next fight with reduced HP. And MP. Yeah, raccoon actually lost in my last combat, even though I had like four consecutive attacks with him, I got too greedy. And I think the elite encounter is coming up, so it's actually kind of terrible. Okay, we, don't have, we have you. Vitality. Raccoon. Interesting. What if I switch you guys up? You. Scroll of Wisdom. Probably on you, actually. Raccoon for the MP, technically still good to hopefully try to get some extra vanish going on. Yeah, that's it. Hmm. Sure, let's actually do this. Now we have power, which I would like to have on you. Also, we gain these extra points by finishing these waves. Yeah, you and Badger really need power, so let's go. Now let's get distributed, cool by the finished things. So you have 9 to 11 damage, 12 to 16, 11 to 30, movement 5, 6 to 8, that's fine. 5 movement, 5 MP region. Okay, 14 on HP, 15, that is not good. That is not good. So mobility, 4. You really don't have a lot of mobility, do you? Hmm, if I switch these out... Ah, oh, man, we kind of need this, but just the other way around. Okay, what's the best way now? Here? I probably want to have the upgrade. Mobility. You have five, five. Actually, you need that. You, what, whatever, let's go. You need mobility. I really need you go, to get on high ground into good position. And HP, probably on our rogue, because we really suffer, we, though we lose on so much slots. So you two get highlighted, but is that enough? How can I see how many trash points you have? Grants one vitality per square eaten. One vitality grants a character 2 HP. So if we take 4, it's actually gonna be 8 HP, right? Is that right? Per square eaten. It's 1 per 1, which is actually pretty good. And I really want you to have 8. But we're missing out on a lot of slots. By the way, Skunk has the MP shield ability which is pretty good. So as long as she has MP, she does not take HP damage and instead her MP gets targeted, which is kind of bad if we want her to cast gel, uh, spells. But she also has MP region of 5, so in a way she regains 5 HP per turn, which is also pretty good. So maybe she can be our tank now that I think about this. Okay, you have that. 49, 15 is just so terrible. 
I wanted to give it to you. Maybe like this. We're not losing out on that much. Uh, yeah, you can always need it. Two, and you really need this as well. Three more. Let's go with the setup. Yep, yeah, elite encounter coming up. That's why right. we can't lose our rogue in this combat. That was terrible that I lost him. I was too greedy in the last encounter. Okay, lead combat. Two trash cans. This is our team. Raccoon halfway down, which is absolutely terrible. Ha! Well, now the frozen spell would have been amazing. These are the punks who have been giving you idiots so much trouble. Pick up the trash, boys. I handed these losers myself. Okay, big guy. Now the freeze ability would be so damage 22 to 28. Oh, and they deal more damage as well. 10 to 12 now. Okay, big bag. Cannot be slowed or disabled. Wonder if the frozen count for that smart. This unit will try to take enemies with low HP. Well, that does not sound nice at all. You know what? Charge right in. 200 HP! Well, we dealt 17, but that is terrible. Luckily, you have resistance, so we want this one to attack our badger if possible, but I don't know how to. Oh god, this is terrible. Can you backstep already? Yes, you can. So we're gonna do it this way this time. First of you, I want you to deal damage. Oh, if you kill an enemy though, can you still move? You get extra movement. Gonna move. We really need to optimize this right now. Ah, I could have done this better. It's fine. Let's deal damage anyway. 25 is very good. Just finish for now. As long as you do not get attacked by the boss, we are okay. These guys are gonna move forward. So I'm gonna leave you there for the time being. I think. I think. End the turn. Oh, good old possum. Can I get you to high ground? Technically, you already are. So, ricochet. Can I have these two? That's the best I can hope for. Boss needs to go down. 11 to each and 3 poison, which is definitely helping. I guess I just leave you there. None of, none of these guys can you reach us. These guys will attack our badger, which is still a problem, actually. 51 is good. You, he's gonna deal half damage, hopefully. Ah, uh, it's fine. End the turn and use your ability. MP shield here. Toxic gas. I need you to get a close up. Problem is, if you get closer, these enemies will try to get you. And I don't want this. But I guess the lesser reds are mostly more likely trying to get the trash, right? So, what can you not hit? Right click. So, if you move over here instead, is that good or bad? Toxic gas. There we go. I can hit both. I guess that's the best. Well, let's go. Let's see what happens. Okay, then. Oh, no, 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 you're in range. Okay, only four damage. But maybe that means her entire MP is gone. Yes. You guys take the trash. Oh, that's why it's an elite encounter. This is absolutely terrible. Okay, it's still fine. It's still fine. How much movement do you have? I want you to do end this enemy. Then I want you to end this enemy with your vanish ability. 12 to 16 doubled. This enemy is a problem. They're getting a wire attack, but you need to be attacked by Big Trevor. Mm. Can we get those two with a ricochet? No. Technically, we could maybe completely ignore this one enemy because we see his route. He's gonna run through the toxic and die anyway with five. Also poison two. So technically, we can completely ignore this enemy. And won't be able to leave this turn, only next turn. Her MP is completely gone. Luckily, he's not she's not destroyed. But this is not good. This guy has so much movement. I should have stayed off, out of range immediately. How do we deal with Big Trevor here? This guy. I mean, my idea right now would be to just... This one dies. These two will move through the toxic gas, take four damage, be at 19 each. And they're gonna move over here. In this position. They won't be able to leave them at this turn. That means Raccoon with her double damage through backstep is gonna get them both next turn if I just position him. So I think I'm gonna ignore that. So I want you. This is so terrible. I'm gonna move you over here. Charge. We gotta get this guy down somehow. 70 damage is okay. Still not enough. You have so much movement. I think we can do both. Use ability. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna move you over here right now. For toxic damage, it's fine. If you get hit, you're, it's over anyway. So deal damage, 26. We need this. 
I could also have killed this enemy and attack again, but that's not the plan right now. Vanish again. I'm gonna move you over here. So next turn, you hopefully, hopefully you have enough movement to completely backstep them. If not, I'm actually gonna move you through the toxic. Doesn't matter if you take eight damage. This is our next turn, as long as you don't die. Okay, now we have a good old possum. Which I guess the best I can hope is to ricochet. I mean, we get this guy too. I mean, if I do a normal attack or ricochet, ricochet, why not? Let's get the enemy. Add also more poison, which is important. So, okay, 83 and 5 poison damage coming up. Currently, this guy is not in range, but look at his movement. Of course, we blocked a lot. Possum is a problem, though. Uh, you are at 31. This guy deals 22, 28. So, I'm actually going to move you here. Friends can move through friends, right? I hope so. Yeah. Because we got to save our skunk. Can't use her ability right now, unfortunately. Toxic gas costs 10, but she has 5 more thanks to her regeneration. I'm going to just use your attack. 6 damage, not much, but we got to use all of what we can. So this one is blocked to get up. Best case, he attacks Badger, but he is smart. So he's most likely going to attack Possum, which is also fine. Because Possum can at least take one hit by the enemy. Can't reach Skunk, that's important right now. Can't reach Raccoon, because he is invisible. End the turn, that's fine. Oh, there's reinforcements. This is terrible. Hitting him, 26. Okay, they're running away, they're running away. Oh, this is so terrible. I gotta get Trevor. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to get there. Raccoon, please don't die. Am I blocking this? How do I... Oh, I can't use my charge anyway. So let's just attack normally. They've got 12 damage. He is at what? 59. So it's Raccoon's turn. This one needs to go. So first off attack. There we go. Defeated thanks to this. Bonus action over here. Backstep because you're behind the enemy. Yeah, tells you backstep as well. Oh, I don't want to misclick. Not right now. There we go. Bonus action. Amazing. Okay, this is good. You have 9 MP. What are the enemies? Can they pick up a trash and then run away? The problem is these rats are going to shoot. If they shoot a skunk... If they shoot a possum, possum is done for. So a good thing would actually be to try to get them. You're not gonna walk through there. At least one. How much? 12 to 16. It could be enough. But if we low roll, this is awful. So cost only four, we had nine. Let's use one vanish and attack. So this one is gone. We have a bonus action. Can't reach this enemy, unfortunately. Maybe double damage 26 would have been good against Trevor. Definitely vanish for now, so you don't you don't get attacked. And I guess the best I can try is to move over here and wait what happens. Well, let's go. What are you hitting? Oh, of course you're hitting him. He's down, so next combat he's at 50%, but next combat is not an lead encounter, so it's all right, I guess. So the question is for the toxic gas. What's the plan? We need to get Big Trevor. Big Trevor is hopefully going to try to attack. Yeah, he can't reach Skunk. So he's probably going to attack. He can only attack Badger. Badger is taking only half damage, which is totally fine. 10 damage to Badger. He doesn't really care. We need to get this guy down. They're going to try to pick up the trash. Oh, this one already picked up trash. It's fine. Raccoon can get him, hopefully. With one vanish, yeah. I mean, the best she can do is always just toxic gas. Just try to stack it on the boss as... Yeah. Let's ignore this. Just get this one guy down as much as possible. Okay, take Badger. Oh, even brings him back. But 11 damage again. As I said, that's totally fine. Go in. Badger, take him. 14 damage down to 33. We have a chance. Okay, it's your turn. Uh, what counts as backstab? against you. There we go. Bonus action. That's what we want. You're gonna move up here. That should count as a backstep as well. There we go. Got him. Bonus action. Problem is, you don't have your vanish ability ready. You need too much more MP. This bow rat, if I move you closer to it, is gonna get you. Which we don't want. It's probably gonna shoot. It doesn't matter if it shoots skunk or badger next turn. They can take it. But you can't. Most likely. 
yeah, 10 to 12. So I have to leave you there. But there's no exclamation marks. I don't think reinforcements are going to happen. So let's just end the turn. Shoot Badger. Okay, sure. It's your turn. You can't even do that. Can you attack from here, I wonder? So it's Big Trevor's next turn. Big Trevor can only attack Badger. He's going to take it. Question is, can you attack from above? You can. Yeah, we need every damage. Seven is seven damage. I'll take it. So go back. There we go. Four, thanks to the poison. You move back. Hit him. Get Big Trevor. Yes. Good damage. Got him. Now we only need this stupid bow rat. Get over there. Intimidate them. There we go. Intimidating. Bet she takes half as much damage for him. Attack as she's facing. I wonder if it's really just direction or at least being close to. I want you to be here. Can't get completely behind it. Uh, you are there. Which this rat has 13 HP. We have 12 to 16 damage. Okay. As long as we don't deal 12 damage, this is our lowest roll. Because then the bull rat is going to attack Raccoon and Raccoon is going to die. And so we have a pretty decent chance if we deal 13, 14, 15, or 16 damage. This is 13. So let me actually count on my fingers 12. 13, 14, oh wait, 12? <laughs> I'm so bad. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we have five damage values. So it's a, what, 80% chance to get the right one. 20% chance to fail here and lose Raccoon. Let's go. Roll the dice. Are you kidding me? Of course we got the 20%. I hate you, game. Yeah, no. <sighs> well, it was in my favor. <sighs> There we go, we lost Raccoon and our Ranger. At least it's not an upcoming lead encounter. Oh man. Are you kidding me, game? This was nice as all. Well. Raise Earth. Permanently raises the ground in the target square. The square may become inaccessible due to its new height. Very interesting. Vampiric shot. Passive effect. Possum regains health with her attack equal to half the damage she deals. That's also pretty good. I think I want that. Because she's gonna start, or her he, I don't know. <laughs> Only 16 HP, 18. Ah, here we go with the Tetris again. Okay, let's see if we can get to the boss. One hour and 16 minutes, so quite a long time. Had some very challenging, but still manageable and winnable encounters. And this is our last relic. Either raise Earth for a badger, permanently raises the ground in the target square. The square may become inaccessible due to its new height. Actually, very interesting, and I had this choice before. Or also for a badger, Shockwave. Sends a Shockwave through the Earth. Deals badger's damage in a line and plus two slow counters. Ooh, slow. The unit's movement speed is reduced by one for each slow counter on it. One counters from... I think I want this. Damage in a wave, that sounds amazing. Also our last trash that we need to somehow try to optimize, right? So we have this thing, which we could move like there next turn or here. Okay. Oh wait, ah, what have I done? Oh, did I switch up my trash somehow? So we could do this and everyone gets a lot of wisdom. Uh, if I say this, we could also do this and everyone gets a lot of mobility. We could also think about having this here, skunk mobility. That's okay. If I do it here, the rogue gets a lot, our possum which needs it. This section looks better and a lot to the other folks. Then we have a two slot there. We won't be able to fill these two slot things, it seems, right? That might be a little bit of a problem. Then we have this. Maybe this is actually better, all things considered. It might be. Let's try this. Again, I'm not a Tetris master at all. At all. More wisdom right now. Not too shabby. I can use these two. Let's try this. We get more mobility and also a lot of mobility on Possum. Not too bad. Raccoon really needs it because I really want to have as many back steps as possible and movement is super important for this. Better health here, probably about the best I can hope. We really want to buff him up or our rogue. But let's go with this right now. Power, also very important on the raccoon now that I think about this. We could do this, give both of them more mobility and then use power here on these two. Because we really want to make sure that Raccoon one-shots as well, now that I think about this. Oh, this could work. Both of them more power. 
And we could also close some waves. Is that good? I am honestly unsure. We want him. Actually, we want everything on Raccoon. Raccoon has been my game changer. Like, literally my, the most important one. Betcha actually the least, but Betcha is just there to tank hits, which is totally fine. So everyone has its role, but Raccoon is the MVP here. Oh, man, it's so important. I don't know. Let's go with this. Might be wrong. If I go with this, okay, that was actually the wrong one. Okay, all the power to... If we do this... If we do this, we can end this... I mean, we need ex all the extra points. You having more HP, not too shabby. Everyone else get a, uh, gets a few extra HP as well. 55 on the possum, 47 on the raccoon, 73 on our badger, and 45 on our skunk. Also, 9 MP reach per turn. You have 3, you have 3, you have 4. So, our last thing. Can't end a wave, which is fine. Yeah, let's go. Grants one mobility per square. Eaten four mobility grants a character one movement range. We want you to have, yeah, 10 movement range. Super important, actually. Let's go. All right, here it goes. Final encounter. Let's see if I'm strong enough for this against the boss in Trash of the Titans. I am honestly excited, man. I'm, I'm not ready. My, I, I, maybe I am. My, my team is good, but I'm not sure if it's good enough. Oh, look at this one. Good. More food. Do not scream. <laughs> oh, old tip the wasteful. Okay, this works differently. There is exclamation mark, and there's also essentially when we get him down as well. How much HP? 450. How? Cannot be slow to disable. Smart. This unit will try to take any with a low HP. Like, seriously, how? This is so much damage and so much HP. Do we try not to get hit by him at all? Is that the way here? I guess at the first turn you can attack. I'm gonna move here. We're gonna lose trash, but this is not about trash right now. This encounter is about trying to just win this encounter somehow. I should have started with a shockwave. Now that I think about this, it's fine. End the turn. Can you move behind him? Okay, let's start with the backstep immediately and then vanish. We need that extra damage right now. Okay, 35 damage. Pretty good. Vanish. You just stand there and we wait what happens. Okay, reinforcements. I kind of expected that. I mean, what else? You can move over to that range. There's trash all over. Again, I don't care about trash on this map. Right now, it's all about survival. Okay, you are there. Can I hit? I, we don't need a ricochet, actually. I forgot that you still have the gravity, right? Possum gets extra range and end damage. Maybe I should have tried to position him here somewhere. But for now, let's just go with a normal attack. There we go, 70 plus 3 poison. 3 poison isn't that much anymore. At the beginning was pretty good. Right now, hmm, but it still helps. It's like 3 damage, then 2, then 1. So it's 6 damage overall total, like delayed. With a ricochet 12, it's still okay. Okay, and we have the skunk. We could use the t you to teleport as well, which I need to keep in mind. But I want to use toxic gas somehow. Let's see, do you get ra extra range as well? You don't. Well, that sucks. So this is the big guy. We can actually move here. Are you in range with this? Please be. Oh, that is just terrible. Uh, let's go with toxic gas. I mean, they want to try to get the trash there. So maybe here. Let's just hope the enemies are gonna try to go over there. Ah, oh, that's not that important. Warp, whatever, and the turn. Okay, a little bit of poison, which is fine. You're gonna move over there. Don't take take the trash. I don't care. Okay, toxic gas is still permanent. Let's hope we can get some enemies with that. Yeah, kind of messed up with the skunk right here. Okay, this is just about defeating the boss. Just about defeating the boss. Okay, guess it's one on one. Gonna deal like 15 damage to you. We have no way to heal. Okay, which is fine. Usability, 5 plus damage, and in a straight line. Intimidating. Can I run? No, we don't have more movement than this one. We can't really outrun him, I think. So, yeah, let's go. Combat. Usability, charge. Bam. 22 damage, pretty decent. And the turn. I need to be careful that he doesn't attack our skunk here. That would be not so nice. I could go with a back step, but we still probably somewhat want to try to get these rats. I'm unsure. So attack. There we go. You guys are actually trying to run towards the boss. Wait, what happens if you guys get the boss? Oh, can you reach that long? Not next turn, I don't think so. I could attack you. 
But I probably want to block these guys, I have a feeling. Okay, how much HP? 36. We deal how much damage? 16 to 20. So we need the Vanish. We want that backstab damage right here. Don't think these two can reach them this turn. Gonna block you. Oh, that wasn't even kill! Uh-oh. Well, that sucks. The next... I thought... Man, I must... 16 to 20, 36. Uh, I mean, yeah, okay, mid-roll. Ah, vanish. Okay, that changes stuff. Um, I kind of screwed up there. Ah, uh, freaking Arrowman's also not so cool. Can you get this guy? I mean, we don't want to punch him down, right? Ah, oh, I don't know. I hate everything right now. I could... Can I warp the enemy away? No, can't warp this guy. I mean, it would have been interesting, but yeah. I guess I, the best I can hope is just toxic gas these guys. And he can reach everywhere anyway. No, we can just move away. But he can get us. We could just warp away, maybe. They can get us there. Let's see if I move all the way with the skunk over here. So what happens? I guess the boss just gets more health if he gets this fat. I'm gonna warp yourself up here. That works. Cool. He gets a lot of damage. Also not so cool. Warp. Another one. Do I want my... F no, because then he attacks you, right? And the turn. I really don't know what the tactic here is. Okay, attack him. 16 damage. Sucks. It's still okay. As long as uh, they are gonna shoot him. That is terrible. Yeah. 15 again. If at least this was halved. Okay, Badger's already gone, essentially. Well, that's not nice at all. Move you here. You can just deal damage right now. Could have used the shockwave, maybe. Do I want to run away? I actually can. Which I can. I don't know, man. Oh, this is so terrible. Like, legitimately terrible. Gotta try to get one of these guys. Hopefully this one. Come on, please. One shot. Yes, we need that action. Now you two, please. Oh, no. We screwed up. Ah, oh, this is terrible. Uh, we, I'm gonna try to intercept this guy. That's the best I can do here with you. Maybe you shoot at him. You can take a little bit of punishment. I don't know. I don't want to vanish right now. More reinforcements. Great. Yeah, this is over. I don't know how to win this at all. And the boss. Guess move over here and ricochet these small ones. What am I supposed to do against this onslaught of reinforcements? Go deal damage, poisoned as well. Could move here to at least evade damage. Oh, then you attack the skunk. That is even worse, but it's her turn at the very least. Guess more toxic gas, right? At least we can ride. Ah, okay, wait. That's fine. We're gonna move here. Come on, right in the middle. Get them all. That's kind of cool. And then I'm gonna hide here in the corner because I don't know what to do. A little bit of poison damage. Three. You're not in range, right? You are in range! Oh, that didn't take the resistance because she needs to face them. Well, so much for that. All tap the waist full. Yeah. I mean, maybe these are good things, but I thought that. Yeah, uh, take the trash. What are they doing giving the trash to the boss? Oh, that worries me so much. And our buffiest soldiers already done, so... I don't see... Oh, man. Okay. Let's try to, try to stay optimistic. There was actually a buff that when she takes lethal damage, she still stays up for one turn and deals double damage. Maybe I should have tried to go for this. The good thing is I can do this. Backstep you. Guaranteed. Can attack you. Guaranteed. So this won't happen. And then backstep the boss. I can't really... I want to find out, because I think I don't win this, I want to find out what happens if we trigger this. So backstab the boss. That's a lot of damage. Didn't have... Maybe he's just stunned. Oh no! What is that? Poisoned. Big bad? I don't know what that was, actually. Okay, vanish. You won't get attacked. But this is still terrible. So ricochet, can we get these both? Okay, we get one enemy. That's kind of cool. How much damage does he deal? 31 to 39. This is just not good. Not good at all. There's the exclamation mark, which is probably means more reinforcements. Yeah, I guess that's what happens. I mean, it's just two rats, but it's still a lot. And we have no way to heal right now. The best I can do is warp. You're gonna attack her. I mean, she can take like one attack with a shield. I mean, what's the, what's the plan here, guys? I could get these two maybe with my... She can't even move. 
Oh, why can't you, why can't you move? Because there's nothing really in range. If I warp you, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna try. Okay, warp over here. You now you have your movement. I don't care about the tech toxic gas. I would like to make it there. If I take toxic toxic gas damage, that is actually fine. The question is, can I hit these two? I want to turn the camera right now. No, I can't. If I, oh, I can. Wait, these. Ah, I want, this one has trash. Wait, these two are the ones. There we go. So you're done. Oh, both of them are. Okay. We can still warp away. Maybe that's our ticket out of here. Oh, you can't even be hit. If the other reds attack you, that is fine. In this case, just stay there. Can't I hit any friend? You are going to try to get the boss. What if I warp you into toxic gas, actually? I should have tried that sooner. Okay, end the turn. You take some poison. Yeah, now you hit him, which is not great. Oh, look at that attack. So sloppy. 33 damage. Another red down. Ryan, toxic damage. Oh man, our berserker down is not good. Okay, we have a bunch of backstabs. There's the boss. What's the way here? Probably try to backstab you. You need to be get by the ricochet, which is fine. So I'm gonna move you here. You're vanished. Backstab. Bam. There we go. You have so much movement, which is good. That means I have... You have so much MP, that means I will send you... What if I send you here? Use dash? Let's try this out. Let's try something else. Use ability, dash. Are you kidding me? I can't dash through this trash bin. Oh, that is just too fun, isn't it? Ah, I hate you, game. Okay, vanish. Gotta activate backstab. I mean, it allows me to dash through enemies. You would have guessed that I can at least dash through a trash bin. Okay, vanish and turn. So you are a little bit of a hassle. Ricochet, get these two, which is kind of nice. Also more poison on the boss. And then you run the hell away. Problem is, the oh, the boss can't get you if you stand right there. Which is here, right? I really want to make sure that the boss can't get you there. Yes. Okay. Somehow we are still in the game. Man, okay, cool. You you won't get attacked by this one. These ones, this one, these ones are probably just gonna collect trash. So, um, toxic gas, the boss, I guess so. Can I? You are in toxic gas, you have 13 MP. Warp costs a lot. Ah, that's a little bit of a problem. I don't want you to waste your slots on... Okay, we don't... The good thing is, if we activate toxic gas, it doesn't hit the boss. So if he moves, let's just do it here. You are safe. I'm gonna leave you there for the moment. No, actually... Ah, there's so much toxic gas. She should be... The, I feel like this should be the starting passive of Skunk. Because she's creating that, right? So she should be safe of toxic gas anyway. Is she in toxic gas? You're not, but there. Creates a permanent cloud of toxic gas, which deals damage over there. I guess that's just her ability. Okay, end the turn. Okay, toxic gas there. Takes five poison damage. I mean, we need everything for damage there. Nice, nice. You guys are moving somewhere. Probably trying to get... Okay, what are we going to do with this setup? You have 14 MP. I mean, if we high roll... I mean, double damage 32 to 40. This one has 36. We have the chance to backstep them. I could also move here, but you're going to ricochet. So that's the plan. Oh, well, great movement. This is where I wanted to move. Come on, let's see. Hope I... Re ah, 35. No high roll there. It's fine. It's fine. End the turn. Oh, I forgot about this guy. Ah, it's fine. Ricochet these two. Two enemies less. There's another exclamation mark coming. That's the most important... No, in park. The freaking exclamation marks right now. Stop it with that at the very least. I'm barely hanging on here. More toxic gas, either the rat or the boss. Probably both. Man, this is a long range here. Just gonna warp her out. But again, let's try to get the boss like this. Toxic gas everywhere. Stick it as well. Yeah, let's go. Oh, I can't. Whatever. Get out of there. There we go. Two damage. So she takes only half? No, that was maybe her MP. Yeah. So she's running out. A bunch of toxic damage. That is good. Okay, exclamation mark coming up, which sucks a lot. You have 13 MP though, which is pretty good. You can actually walk through the enemy. Yeah, let's combine this with a backstep. Bam, 40 damage. Mwah, chef's kiss. That feels so good. And just vanish and the turn. 
Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> we lost our barbarian so super early on, but somehow we're still hanging in there, which is legit the most surprising thing here. Okay, I don't see you getting out of this bus. Oh, that's the thing that happened, I think. When we damaged him, he got less movement, because, well, he gets exhausted, right? I still want you to ricochet, firstly, uh, first off, you hit more enemies, second off, of course, you have this vampiric shot ability. What if you attack just this rat? What's their range? I can't get off that, so maybe that's actually better. Let's just shoot this one. You only gain regain 8 MP, but that's still good enough. The question is, okay, leaving this range pretty easy, actually. Boop, boop, I could also try to know. So the way is, if we go behind the trash can, we are safe. Which we can reach, so let's do that, cool. So if that works fine, end the turn. You, oh, you don't have enough for toxic gas. Toxic gas would be so amazing here. But these guys also can't reach you, and the boss can't also reach you. So, that's cool. So you right now you're safe. The problem is I don't know what to do with you. I guess just end the turn right now. Yeah, collect MP, that's fine. So poison damage, there you go. You block their pathway, I think. These guys are moving there. Okay, no exclamation mark right now. Raccoon is here. So what's the plan? What's the plan? What's the plan? What's the plan, guys? I don't know. 12 HP. We can use Vanish a couple of times. So it's not over yet. We need high roads. None of these guys are damaged. That's actually the biggest problem right now. Do I go for the boss? 40 damage right into the boss and hope he's slowed down even more. And you ricochet, run away. Next time we get at least two guys with you, maybe. You run away from this guy, which should work. I think that's actually the way to go. Unless these all, all have 36. I have the chance to defeat them. But again, it would only be a high roll. 32 to 40 is double the damage. That means 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Yeah, I think what is this? Like a 40% chance to one-shot those guys? Maybe I shouldn't rely on this anymore. So let's just deal. Bam. 39 damage, or like one damage off this threshold. That actually means last time when we dealt 40 damage to the boss, that was actually the maximum we could achieve, which is pretty cool. You just vanish, you can chill there, and your turn. You definitely ricochet. I guess just these guys, there we go. Regain HP, poison, and deal decent damage. You guys can reach there. So if I move you here, you are safe for the time being which is totally fine. We love to see this. And the turn. Now you. What am I gonna do with you? I guess just more toxic gas, sure. Double toxic gas here. And he's over this. Oh, great. Rooted, cannot move. Are you kidding me? This got him out of the... No, no, no. This is, come on. I tried to hover over this and it didn't... Are you kidding me? Is this how I lose now? This is how I lose now, isn't it? Because, <laughs> because this rooted ability, which I didn't know would happen, took him out of Vanish. Oh, come on. Cannot be slowed, smart. This unit will try to attack enemies with low HP. You have more HP. He's gonna kill Raccoon. And then that is our strongest unit by far. Are you, I mean, maybe we still have a chance if no exclamation mark comes up in the future. It's this one ability that now completely screwed me over and I can't move you anyway. At least you take a bunch of them. Yeah, great. You two game. You two. Oh man, middle finger up here. Okay, as long as there's no reinforcements, we still have a chance. You are, okay, everyone is rooted. Okay, you ricochet. Doesn't matter, you can only, you can't move, so you can only attack this guy, which again, okay, it's fine. Poisoned five, so this one is dead essentially. You can't move. You can move now. I guess I are they gonna give the trash to me? and you can't you don't have enough for toxic gas. Why does this cost 10? It's so expensive. Oh, toxic gas would have been great here. So I, I would guess they heal him if he has trash, but I can't figure this out. I guess I can just go and attack. But then you go into Toxic Cloud, take damage, and you don't have enough MP. So that's actually not the way. 
Uh, I can only run away and hope they run through the toxic gas. Why can't guards reach me? Not nice. Okay, this one, even the boss. Okay, we get a wipe out of there. What's the boss's range? Maybe here? I'm safe here. Well, you would really gotta play the slow game right now. You're running up, at least you walk through the toxic gas. Everyone else too. I guess they are not giving the trash to the boss. They're just trying to keep it at him. Or maybe he has a move with the percentage chance where it takes him. Or maybe it's not implemented in the demo. It feels like they want to give him the trash. But frankly, I'm very happy that doesn't happen right now. Because if he gets any kind of buff, this would have been over already. This is kind of our last chance here to do anything. Okay, what's your move? You can't hit anyone right now. There's so much toxic gas. <laughs> now it's kind of hindering us. But it's still fine. Ricochet these two. Because we want to apply damage. It's still the boss. Can you reach me? If I'm here, I'm safe. No, I'm not safe. Oh, uh, that's all my movement anyway. It's fine. You can take like a punch. Because with Ricochet, you get your vampiric ability anyway. Oh, look at him. Our rook is, rogue is still rooted while he's a corpse that is just horrible okay i need to deal damage i could warp out of here but yeah damage is the most important thing right now I think maybe i can still warp i could still warp how much what if i just run away this this is a little bit of toxic gas but this guy is so slow so okay everyone to the corner zero damage we add how much mp that's even more important four Ah, you would attack me. And you'd, uh, okay, it's fine. She doesn't have MP for the next turn, but he walks through all of that toxic waste, which, mm, beautiful. Oh, now he eats the trash and regains HP. Okay, so that is a thing, but that was also the last red. So I'm not sure he eats the other ones. So now it's, now it's on. Just attack, there we go. 50 damage, extra poison, back to 5. Okay, this is it, guys. We win this. Barely. More toxic gas, just stack it all over there, bong, eight. What's your movement? Oh, you can reach him? I did not expect that. Okay, you can take a punch still. Then you move over here. Oh man, I kinda didn't see that one coming. Oh, that hurts, 25, still fine. First off attack, there we go. I could have gone for extra range, but I don't know how he can move next time. We're just gonna run away as far as possible. Let's see, because she's in a way right now, we don't know if we move uh, move her away, how that's gonna affect things. Let's punch, nine damage, I'll take it. You run all the way up here. <laughs> Look at all the toxic gas on the map. I love that this is permanent, I really do. And how it affects everything right now. Usually in games it's always, eh, this lasts for three turns or five turns. No, this lasts throughout the whole map and that's cool, I love it. Seven, okay. Just spread our toxic gas all over this. There we go. Poison 9. 16 damage. He's at 42. We can do this, guys. We're kind of trapped here, but we can do this. Okay. Should be safe here, maybe? I mean, according to the current stats, so to speak. She's safe too, so more toxic gas. Go. Like this. Like this. Go. Bong. Extra 4 damage. I'll take it. Can't attack, so come on, through all, yes, go through it, yes, beautiful. And that's it, come on, sh oh, don't misclick now, that would be terrifying, there we go, bong, 14 damage, poisoned, 11, he's at 3 health, so, you know what, come on, our skunk, yes, with a normal attack, beautiful, bong, did it. Lost one trash here, oh, what is that? Nice. Oh, we did it. Technically lost only one trash. Victory. Whew. Well, that's the end of the demo. But don't think you punks have seen the last of the Red Crew, because you haven't. That is, if you wishlist the game on Steam. Go ahead now, give that button a click. <laughs> um, yeah, I actually think I would rec recommend this. I played this now for 1 hour 43 minutes. I had a blast. 
Trash of the Titans, ladies and gentlemen. This is just the demo. This feels good to play. I, I just want more content in the full game. Different classes, even more weird relics and power-ups and more and more and more and different way and runs. This feels... this is fun. Yeah, thumbs up for me. I had a great time. I think this is one of the few games... I, I haven't played that many games this long so far on this channel. And I didn't expect this. I actually thought, hey, let's have a quick short video here. Well, I don't know how much I cut this down, but, you know, thumbs up. This is great. Wow, I had a great time. I, that was a great demo. Very polished. We need more options menu somehow, maybe with highlighting or so, make it obvious. They, I feel like a tactics game just needs more accessibility options. Also resolutions, I don't know, maybe it's on my screen. A bit, little bit weird, it seems, but, I mean, that, that's the only nitpick I have. I have nothing else. This was fun. <laughs> please tell me uh, what you guys think of Trash of the Titans. T please tell me what you think of my gameplay and commentary. Feedback is always greatly appreciated. Make absolutely sure to stay awesome. Consider sharing the video. And we see each other in the next one. Truly, thank you for watching.